so we've got this fish uh, for the last 10 minutes it's not been breathing properly so I'm just gonna give it a uh, respiratory stimulant which is doxapram just go somewhere halfway so just give it point five. Good. Yep. Okay, so this boy has stopped breathing for the for last 10 minutes. Uh, they were trying to just move him through the water to just get him I think it's 50, 50, uh, maybe less. activated and, and moving. But um, I think we need a medical intervention here. So I've given him an injection of doxapram at uh, 0.1 to... I'll have to check the dose rate again, I can't quite remember, but um, gone, no? we gave him about 0.5 mil of doxapram. That's, a, uh, that's a respiratory stimulant. We use that in anaesthetics yeah. when fish go too deep and we need to sort of um, stimulate the breathing. Uh, so that works in this case. You can see it's sort of kicking around now, so you can see that its effectiveness is working. Uh, what I've also given is um, an injection of B compact complex uh, that just fermentation or just like your Barocca that you take as a pick-me-up in the morning uh, so given that intramuscular as well the reason why we've given an intramuscular injection is that it's very well vascularized the muscles uh, so that it can actually spread systemically to where where you need it as quickly as possible uh, as opposed to giving it into its belly um, and you notice that I gave the injection uh, in the black parts of the fish because uh, sometimes you can get discoloration or reactions happening and, the, and so if we give the injections in the black parts of the fish um, it's going to limit uh, visibility of that, it's going to not cause any defects in its coloration. The other thing yeah, that we're doing here is we're no, aerating no, the water no, and we've also put a water pump uh, through the mouth no, and the reason why we do that is that there's a buccal heart reflex where the, the heart, the faster the water is coming through the mouth, uh, the faster the heart's going to react and beat. Uh, so that helps to um, wake, wake him up. So that's another thing that we use in anaesthetics. Uh, when we do surgery with fish. So, so you can see the tank mates are coming in to just First check out the fish. That's a very typical response with a lot of tanks of fish. Um, they always come in, especially when you're reviving fish or that they're sick. Uh, they always come around and check out and try to sort of nudge them, make sure that they're okay. I'm not happy. Not happy, John. Got more history about the reason why the fish stop breathing when turn coming down to stress because of the um, measuring at that stage. Uh, she didn't quite behave, so uh, we went through a bit of more handling than normal. Uh, but she's normally a classic fish. So I think the additional stress has, has caused her to behave in this way. So far we've given her um, Doxapram to stimulate her breathing, uh, B vitamin complex to uh, stimulate her mentation. We've also given adrenaline to sort of stimulate her heart and also breathing. Uh, but now I think the next thing we want to do is we want to give uh, Diazepam, which is something that will reduce the stress in the fish. Because it's got respiratory depression already, we don't want to give the diazepam at a high rate, we want to just give it a, just a touch. Uh, and also we're going to give it in the abdomen, uh, into the uh, peritoneum, so that it's a slower release. Okay, um, so, so this is what we're going to do. So we're going to get Graham here to um, turn her upside down. Uh, if she doesn't do it, uh, we might have to just maybe give it a good line. Um, hey, an ice you know. cream or something. Is she swimming around? Yeah. Oh, Graham, well done, mate. That was Graham. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All that. See, what that gentle touch. His wife told me that he's been really nice with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. I didn't give it any hope, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, it had rolled over in the tank. 
gills had stopped, uh, you know, it wasn't breathing. Uh, and yeah, I didn't give it any hope, but with the injections and I guess the extra air, just you know, hanging in there and keeping it going. And you can see there in the sumi on the back of the fish, it's obviously affected it where the injections went in, but compared to what it would have been, I'd yeah. say you know, good, good result because she's, uh, she's back. A, it's a one in a million to get a fish like that, so to lose it, that'd be heartbreaking. Yeah, we you can't replace them. <laughs> so yeah, well done to you. Well done to you for persisting. It's very cold water. I appreciate <laughs> you have it. cold wet hands. <laughs> I just did injections. No, well, like I said, it's, it's a great result. Yeah. So I didn't give it much hope. everything you did for us. Now we'll give us some more air. <laughs> more air, yes. Never too much air. No, that's it. Yeah, well normally when your fish is sick, you know, you can see some signs. It's a slower uh, sort of progression. Yep. This fish went from being perfectly healthy to almost spasming within minutes of being yep. measured and taken back to its pond. So that's why I guess it's very unusual to see at this point so healthy yep. and, and almost unaffected. Yep. So, if the fish never shows again, which you don't know, it, it, you know, it may, but if it never shows again, it's it's still a fantastic breeding fish because the quality of the fish is so exceptional that you just hate to lose it. So, no. so that um, that spasming type thing, that very to unusual. me that reminds me of like the death throes yes. in the final stages. It was in the final stages basically. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's very unusual to see it. it it's like a convulsion, yeah. like a convulsion. So to see it do that. See it how it is now is it's very surprising. Yeah. So very I was talking pleasing. to the veterinary student there, talking about being a fat fish. Maybe you could liken it to ketosis with, with a fat cow syndrome uh, when it's gone off feed, because you normally uh, fasten for about three days prior. Yeah, normally um, that normally that wouldn't bother. That should normally wouldn't bother yeah. a fish. I mean, during winter, as you know, you don't feed the fish that much anyway. So coming into the show, it's quite common for a fish to be. Uh, Starved, but not to be fed for up to a week. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what caused it. But, yeah. uh, I mean, some people are thinking about the heart attack. Yeah, I've got to be honest, it seems more like some sort of fetal convulsion the way it was acting. And yeah. Back in the tub before we pulled it out, uh, as you saw, it was rolling over and the gills were barely moving. So, it's, it's a miracle to see it now and see how healthy it looks compared to a couple of hours ago. So, yeah. Yeah, it's very, a very fun. good result. Yeah, so I think. We're, we're tossing up whether or not to give that diazepam injection, the Valium, uh, yeah. mainly because you were seeing clinical sides of it, not breathing, and, yeah. and Valium is a respiratory depression. Worrying it was going to slow yeah, even more. Even more. Uh, but I think getting the further history of um, the measuring, having taken a bit longer and more handling than possible, uh, and, and that, that stress, I think that pretty much uh, made, gave me that tick that I should give it the Valium, and yeah. I think that's the one that actually it certainly made a big difference. Not long after that, you could feel I was basically trying to put a finger in the mouth to keep it open to keep the air going through it, yep. and I could feel it sort of starting to react, starting to bite down yep. on the finger as it was trying to get the air going through the gills and that. So um, yeah, that seemed to have been the thing I think that made probably the most difference. At least the timing of it, along with the oxygen, uh, you know, certainly helps. So, yep, good result. So Alan, you had a bit of a drama uh, today at the Koi Show. Can you explain or describe what happened? Well, I have a very good uh, Sankey fish female and it was 69 centimetres and to, to, to get it into the jumbo class it had to be over 70. And the judges thought it was over 70 so they wanted to measure the fish because they really wanted to give it a good prize. So we ended up catching the fish, putting it uh, to try and measure it, and I, I think she she got stressed, and uh, you know we believe that maybe she's had a bit of a heart attack, or something uh, like that. But fortunately, with the sort of work that we were doing with it, along came the uh, fish vet, so we, <laughs> we, we were able to take some advice from yourself, and uh, you can explain probably better than me as to to what we actually did to the fish. But the nice thing is that the fish. Probably worth in, in value terms maybe $3,000 or so 
uh, top quality fish, was runner up for grand champion last year, won Jumbo A this year, so maybe $3,000 or so. So she was quite important, but it was it was disappointing, you know, that, that, that it looked like we we're going to lose her. So it was terrific that we had you in, you in hand. And I'm not sure exactly what you did, but I know we gave her a couple of injections, so maybe you can yeah, explain yeah, that. Well, we didn't just turn her into a pincushion, we, we actually had some drugs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we did, because um, at first it, it, it stopped breathing, so the first thing we needed to do was to get the doxapram, a, a respiratory stimulant, to get mm -hmm. her to start breathing. Uh, with the stress and maintain like that, I was thinking uh, we should give some B complex vitamins, just like uh, drinking Baraka in the morning, your yep. B vitamins. Yep, yep. Um, and, and additional to that, um, at, at one stage it, it looked like it was in its death throes. Mm -hmm. um, it's doing that. Yes, thing. yes, yep. yes. Yep. I guess most of us have seen that uh, yep. in, our, yep. in our experience. And so at, at that point, that's when we, we gave the adrenaline just to get the heart uh, continue to move. Yep. Um, and then we got more information about the more stress um, because I thought it just stop breathing for no mm -hmm. reason but um, with the additional information about uh, the handling procedure just leading up to that event uh, I discussed the, <clears throat> the value of using diazepam which is a Valium uh, mm -hmm. with a uh, final year vet student uh, discussing because it's a respiratory um, depressant as well so that's why I, I didn't really want to use it uh, but we, we discussed and we've decided to use the lowest end of the dose strike yep. uh, and also into its abdomen so mm -hmm. that's its lower release yeah so yep. i think um, with graham with his hands dunked in that really freezing water yes uh, he, he could tell that once that uh, injection went in yeah uh, could tell that fish started to relax um, and breathe um, and, and get the color back yeah. yeah yeah well i just looked at the fish uh maybe uh, 30 minutes ago, uh, I guess, and uh, she's uh, back swimming around uh, in her holding tank. So, uh, you know, the result was terrific, yeah. So well done, thank you so much. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> Very much appreciated.